What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Sorry I'm already sitting on the couch. I didn't really feel like doing the couch jump today. Um, I'm going to start off this video with a cauliflower pizza. So the brand of this thing is called Cauli Power. Ha! What a creative title. Um, I've seen the cauliflower crust, like just the crust available at Trader Joe's to buy, but honestly I wasn't that interested because I didn't feel like making it myself. So I was at ShopRite the other day and I actually saw this brand, Cauli Power. Ha! Gets me every time. Cauli Power, they actually have pizzas already made with the cauliflower crust. So I figured it's already made, might as well try it out. This one's margarita flavor. Um, I'm a little disappointed though, because you would think the macros would be like significantly better than a regular frozen pizza. So a couple videos ago, I had the CPK barbecue chicken pizza. And before that, I had the Trader Joe's barbecue chicken pizza. So this actually has more fat than the CPK one. This has 30 fat for the whole thing. It's 74 carbs, which is about 30 carbs less than the CPK one. And 24 protein, which is about half the protein. So definitely less calories overall than the CPK frozen one. It's significantly less calories than the Trader Joe's one. But for cauliflower, I would have thought the carbs would be a little bit lower. It's because it's not pure cauliflower. There's still like flour involved in it as well. So I really don't know what to expect, to be honest with you. I've never had cauliflower crust. It's something I've been meaning to try. I do love the cauliflower stir fry rice I have all the time, cauliflower mashed potatoes. So I'm a big fan of every other cauliflower product. So hopefully it's pretty good. Uh, but like I said, even if it is pretty good, I mean, the macros aren't that great. So for an extra like 30 carbs, I might want to splurge for the CPK one, depending on how good this one is. So anyway, just wanted to start off the video with this. I'm going to put this in the oven. I'll make it and I'll give you guys a review once it's done. All right, this is what it looks like frozen. Uh, it actually looks pretty good, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 12 minutes and I'll take it out when it's done. Damn, that looks pretty good. This actually looks a lot better than I expected. So uh, I'll cut it up and we'll see what it tastes like. There she is. All right guys, not gonna lie, this actually looks way better than I expected. So uh, let's take the first bite. Well, wow. okay. This definitely exceeded my expectations. You can't even tell it's cauliflower. So I guess what they do is they mix some cauliflower in the dough to reduce the calories a bit, but it's still regular enough dough that it still tastes like regular pizza. So this is actually incredible. I wish they made more flavors. I did not have high expectations for this. It definitely exceeded them. Um, the brand is Kali Power. If you see it around, uh, I definitely recommend you give it a try. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the workout. So I just wanted to go over what I'm going to be doing on my strength days in my training now. I turned 28 on Saturday, and not that I'm really getting old or anything, but I kind of just feel lately that my body is kind of telling me that I should really back off the weights just a little bit. I haven't had any serious injury. I tweaked my back like once, but for the most part, I really, I'm not injured. I feel really good at the moment and I want to keep it that way. So I do feel like at this point, it probably is a little bit smarter to not stop going heavy. Don't get me wrong, but to back it off a little bit. So let me tell you what I'm going to be doing on these strength days. So what I was doing, I was sticking between three and five reps. I would do four sets of three one week. I'd bump it up to four the next week, then five. I'd bump it up five pounds, and then I would repeat. So I was always between the three and five rep range. Um, what I'm doing now instead is I'm going to be staying more in the four to ten rep range, mostly four to eight, but like four to ten rep range. I'm going to start with a, a closer to around eight reps. Um, I'll start pyramiding the weight up a little bit, get around to like four or six, probably do the one set or maybe two at like four reps. And then I'll lighten the weight a bit and go back to like eight reps. And the reason I'm doing that, like I said, I really, I feel good at the moment. I have the physique that I, my, uh, is basically where I want to be. And I'm not going to be getting much stronger anyway. So it doesn't really make too much sense to me to really try to force myself getting stronger, lift really, really heavy. Um, on bench, it's not such a big deal. I don't really feel like I'm doing anything dangerous or anything, but when I'm deadlifting heavier, when I'm squatting heavier, my mind is just telling, it's just saying to me, like, what are you doing? Like, you're going to get hurt at some point. Maybe not now, 
but let's take the step back now before something does happen and be safe that way. So now that I told you what I'm doing, I do want to make it clear that I've been lifting now for 12 years. I did lift heavy at some point um, for most of those 12 years. And I definitely think that lifting heavy is necessary if you want to combine um, both strength and size. Even if you really have no desire to be stronger, getting stronger will help you add muscle and get, and get bigger as well. So I do think it is... I do think you do need to get stronger and you do need to lift relatively heavy if you're starting out, if you're an intermediate, um, but I do consider myself relatively advanced and I'm pretty much at the point where I, I'm, I'm kind of happy. So like, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything, anything stupid, if that makes sense to you. So keep in mind, like my deadlift, I, I could deadlift like over 500 pounds. I could squat over 400 pounds. I could bench like 330 ish. Like I, I don't have weak, pathetic lifts. Like if you're just starting out, I'm not telling you that you should stop don't even try to get stronger and bench 135 for the rest of your life. I'm saying this is just what I'm doing now. So this is kind of the analogy, how I want to, how I could, I was thinking about it. You know how when you have a new job or any job, you go to work, you're working hard, you're there early, you're there late, and you see the boss who strolls in late, he leaves early, he seems to be not working very hard, he takes vacations, and you're looking at him, you're like, that's not fair, he's making way more money than me. He's the boss, yet here I am working way harder than him. Well, guess what? He didn't get to where he is by doing what he's doing now. He was in your position. He was working really hard. He put in the hours to get to where he is. And now that you've put in all that time, 10, 12, 15, 20 years, he's now at a point where he can reap the benefits of all the hard work he put in. And you can take a step back and you can enjoy it a little bit. So that's kind of how I look at it a little bit. So I've been lifting for 12 years and I pushed myself very hard for all of those years, I got, I added a good amount of muscle. I got as strong as I, pretty close to as strong as I'm, I really want to be. And now I'm at a point where I don't really necessarily need to continue training the way I did to get to that point because I'm already at the point, if that makes sense. So think of me as like now I'm the, I'm the annoying boss that you see in the leaving early, taking early lunch, coming in late while you're working hard. I, I put in the work for the, for all that time to get to where I am. So just because this is my approach now, that doesn't mean I recommend you doing it if you're just starting out. So the reason I'm still incorporating some heavy sets is because I figure if my goal is still to really at least maintain my strength, by incorporating some heavy sets, I'm still uh, stimulating the, fi the muscle fibers that really deal with that. Um, so it's really enough to, to get some of the benefit of, of the strength, but not too much where I could risk getting injured. Also, when I do a set of like three, and that's my first set, those first, that first set's always awkward no matter how much I warm up. But now that that heavier set is after a few other sets, my body's looser, I'm much warmer. So when I do those sets, I, I just feel looser and different than when I went straight into those sets, if that makes sense. So anyway, just thought I would give you guys a little update on my strength workouts. Um, on bench, I ended up doing, I believe it was five sets there, five sets pull-ups. And then it was like three or four sets on the overhead press and about three sets on everything else. Um, just because I've been getting a lot of questions on my Instagram stories about the reverse pyramiding and stuff. People are asking, is there a magic to it? Not really. I just explain why I'm doing it. I just, I want to incorporate some heavy stuff without too much. So that's really what I'm doing. So anyway, hope that made sense. If you guys liked the video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. It does help me out. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.